Scott Bywitter here, and I've got a question from Louise about how do you know if you're actually being a thought leader or if you're just rehashing other people's content? And I thought this was a, a, a really good question, and this is my take on it. My take on it, I think the best way of looking at this is look at the people that you really respect, the people that you just go, wow, their, their stuff is just like incredible, and when they release a book, you're just like there. So, so for for me, it'd be someone like uh, yeah, Michael Simmons it has some great content on on Medium. Someone like the Sim Nicholas Taleb, uh, someone like Seth Godin, and what you're seeing with each of those people, the the thing I see I see as a commonality is that the content they're producing is original. It's well thought through. It's deep. It's different. And that's why we call them a leader. So they're not going, they're not, they're not rehashing, let's say, you know, someone's, someone's quote, or if they are, they're then putting their own spin on it. Um, so, so I will, you know, so, so for, you know, for, for example, if you, you might, you might look at something and you might say, say, look at a, let's say if you've got a, a quote or something someone said, and you go, yes, and this is my take on it. Or yes, but this is my take on it. And I, I believe the best way to do that and to create that unique content and that leadership content, I believe there's a couple of things we need to do. One is we need to we need to read, we need to really understand, and we need to draw from different sources, not just not just you know not just our own field, because ideas cross pollinate, and and the research I've done shows that you know an idea from biology and then applied to marketing and it just pops or, or it comes alive rather than just being too you know single focused as as such. So so I think I think that's one thing is to read and study a lot. And another thing is to be is to notice when something pops. So I know when I'm writing a headline, I write headlines regularly for a for a client. I'll read through the article and there'll be something that just grabs me. It pops. Same with content. On a day-to-day -day basis, you're, you're reading a book, you're, you're talking to someone and something pops, you just want to write it down and that can become your next piece of, piece of content. So think leadership, think of the people you follow, think of what they do and then model that approach in your own industry for your own position to make your content really stand out and so that you're thought of and seen as a thought leader. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you've got any questions about what I've shared, please leave it below. And if you'd like me to share anything else, please let me know in the comments box below.